This is a quick walkthrough on how to change most all of the transmission fluid on a 2009 Toyota Tundra, although the process is basically the same for all models from 2007 to present. All you need is some vinyl tubing, a March drain pan, a basic socket set with 14 and 24 millimeter sockets, a 5 millimeter Allen wrench, and some pliers. Check the video description for more info. Chalk the wheels and engage the emergency brake. If you have the tow package transmission oil cooler, use a screwdriver to push the thermostat shaft in. Then use a paper clip or pin slid through the holes in the side of the bolt to hold the thermostat shaft in. This will lock the cooler in the open position to make sure that all the fluid in there is flushed as well. I like to loosen all the bolts beforehand and make sure that they're just hand tight. It makes the job easier and it avoids the problem of broken or seized bolts happening after you reach a point of no return. The large fill port is located in different places on different transmission models. Mine was on the driver's side towards the front of the transmission. Some of these bolts were very awkward to get at, but no special tools were needed. If you're not sure you found the correct bolt, the fill port is marked WS for World Standard, the name of Toyota's specification of transmission fluid. Now we can start by draining the oil pan. While that's draining, you can remove the check port bolt. I also like to go through and wipe everything down just so I can see if any new trickle of oil comes out at any time. Now we can seal the drain port back up. We won't be taking this off again, so put it in there good and tight. Check how much oil came out. That'll give you an idea how much we're going to put in each time to refill the pan. Your transmission fluid should never look like this. I'd guess it never been changed in 100,000 miles. This is Toyota's recommendation, but I strongly disagree for this exact reason. Next, we disconnect the oil cooler outlet hose. It's the top of the two ports on the transmission oil cooler. If you don't have the tow package, the oil cooler will go into the normal coolant radiator at the bottom of the radiator. A half inch inner diameter vinyl tubing is put on the oil outlet and the bottom end is dropped into the drain pan underneath the truck. Five eighths inner diameter vinyl tubing is routed down through the engine compartment and put into the transmission oil filler hole. Then we just refill it with slightly more oil than we drained out of it earlier. After pouring in the first quarter or so, it's a good idea to look around just to make sure nothing's leaking anywhere. Get somebody to start the engine while you keep an eye on the level in the drain pan. We only want to fill it as much as we drained out of the transmission at the beginning. The system is pushing out old fluid while it sucks up the new clean fluid out of the oil pan. Fluid isn't under too high of pressure. Keep an eye on it, it'll take about a minute to move about two to three quarts. Have the person running the engine run through all of your gear shifter just to get all the fluid through all the different channels. Once you reach the fluid level that you drained out of the drain pan initially, shut the engine off. In the video I noticed that some of the oil gets sucked back up into the engine as it drains into the oil pan. Don't worry, there's no problem. It just proves that the system's closed and there's no air leaks. After clean oil comes out of the oil cooler, we can check the oil level. With the engine off, reconnect the oil cooler outlet line and remove the oil check plug and pour in clean oil until you start to see it drain out the plug. 
Without the Toyota, Techstream Diagnostics getting the correct oil level is tricky. The oil must be measured with the engine running and the transmission oil at a very specific temperature. Luckily the computer can tell you when you're at the correct temperature. Use a paper clip to bridge pins 4 and 13 on the diagnostic port under the steering wheel. With the jumper in, start the engine and run the shifter through all the gears to circulate the fluid. Then move the lever back down to drive and quickly move back and forth between neutral and drive about once a second for at least 6 seconds to activate fluid temperature detection mode. You'll know you're successful when the drive light finally stays on for at least 2 seconds even though you keep moving the shifter. If it doesn't work, move it back into park, shut the engine off, double check your paperclip jumper, and start over. Once you're into temperature check mode, the drive light will either be off if it's too cold, blinking if it's too hot, or on steady if you're in the right temperature range. When you're in the optimum temperature range, top off the oil until just a thin stream is coming out of the check port. Then close the check port, shut the engine off, Remove the funnel and tube, torque all the bolts down, and clean up. Congratulations, you just saved about $400 of work and extended the life of your transmission.